All right, we're back. Okay, well, another thing you want to do when you buy a house is go down, check your washer and dryer, wherever it may be. And if you have old rubber hoses like this, you're just asking for trouble. Um, you can already see this one was rusty and was leaking. I have it off right now and it's still dripping. Um, so, let me show you that. This is the biggest cause of like home flooding is these things. Uh, they rupture. They're always under pressure, you know, unless you turn them off your valves there. So um, it's a good idea to get yourself a better set. These are stainless steel. They have different sizes too. Fatter for more flow, faster fill times. You know, you want to get crazy. But simple uh, unthread, unthread. Should be a washer. Let's see what we got. I went ahead and unbolted this just to give me some more room. But uh, yeah, my had a relative work in flood restoration company. So they knew all about this stuff too well. me think about this but yeah, just like a garden hose it's like a garden rubber hose there there is a little screen here it's always good to check and clean those out if you're having flood issues or filling issues um, so yeah good riddance to this stuff we just pulled out that little screen look at all the sediment so it's the hot water side, so that's all scale from the hot water tank, probably. Um, it depends on if you have a well, if you have city water. I got city water here, which is pretty good. And this is another piece too. Another little screen. That's nice. We got double double duty. All right, that's good enough for me. Just need a little fingernail action, they come right out. Hopefully, if you're lefty, you gotta stick your arm in front of the camera. <clears throat> or get those pair of pliers that are right there. Yeah, that one's got some dirt too. Alright, let's clean these up. Another thing I would do is don't assume these are going to be left and right, hot and cold. I work in a lot of buildings, uh, commercial, residential, where you would think, you know, because up top is cold and hot, that underneath the sink would be the same. No. I don't know if there's code under the sink. These guys just run them willy-nilly, we'll say. So just some food for thought, something to check there. On the washing machine, it's labeled red and, and blue. That would be for hot and cold. All right, looks like these are designed to spin, even though they're tight. It's a good thing, so when you're moving the stuff around, you're not worried about it. And let's uh, fire it up, see if we got any leaks. Okay, drum roll, please. Whoa, that's some pressure. Did you hear that? You should always turn on ball valves really slow. And I didn't do that, as you could tell. Ball valves are way better than stupid threaded. Those things always fail. You don't typically see them on this application, but you know, you'll see it up there. And that one's been replaced. It's still got a tag on it, but. Judging by the hole behind it, there's probably a water leak and the stain in the wallpaper. What ugly wallpaper. Look, I thought this was all staining. I think it's just the way it was. It was colored. Ugh. What a trend wallpaper. <laughs> I love this house. All right, that's your washer line replacement. Bingo, bango. Cheap insurance. More to come on this old house.